Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18361 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. And uh, this is a 19H1 build. Very close to the end of development of 19H1. You'll notice there's no watermark down here in the bottom right hand corner indicating that this is very close to release. It's not the probably not the release version, but we are very close to it. Now, there's not a huge amount of changes to show you on this build, but I did want to show you one thing on the Your Phone app, which I mentioned in a build video from last week. So Your Phone is gaining the ability to mirror your uh, phone on in here in Windows. Now, currently, you have to have a device that supports Bluetooth Low Energy, and I think they're restricting it to uh, Surface Go, which is what I'm on here. You notice it says I can't use it because my phone, well, it says my phone's not connected, but actually... That isn't the problem. The problem is my phone, uh, a Pixel 2 XL doesn't isn't supported. They're currently only going for the Samsung S8 and S9 models, the, the Plus and the regular size ones. But that's coming soon, so I'm really looking forward to give that a try, being able to mirror my Android phone onto the desktop. Right, so what has changed in this build? Well, they fixed an issue in the previous build that was preventing uh, virtual machines from being updated using VMware. That uh, should be fixed now. They fixed an issue with uh, some BitLocker problems, um, and that's been resolved. Those are the changes. The two, the known issues. There's just there's a new one. Well, I think it was in the last build actually. Microsoft Store apps may not update automatically. You've got to go and check for updates. Um, the one that is causing most issues uh, or prevention of this bill being installed is launching games with the anti-cheat code software may trigger a bug check so what they're doing they're actually blocking that so you get a message saying this bill can't be installed it could because of that a creative x5 sound cards are still not working and real tech sd cards uh, are not working as well uh, those are two that have been around for some time so that's it that's it for the changes in this 19h1 build uh, we really are close to the end of it now um you can see, go back and look at previous videos showing you previous, all the changes on 18 on our, on our YouTube channel. And I also got a video showing all the changes sort of wrapped up into one video as well. So make sure you check out that as well. So thanks for watching this video. I'll bring you more as Microsoft bring out more builds.